One to the center, please. Just one in the center here, please. Okay. Center down, please. Center. Yes, please. Center. This way, this way, this way. This way, this way. This way, this way. This way. This way. This way. And please, one more time. What's the right? This way. Thank you. 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 I got no. I was honest. Okay. So, this way. Sir, sir. Up in the middle, please. Thank you. Sir, sir. 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 So you did you look at me this? Once at the right, please. Fast row. And one side. Nice camera, please. Yeah, sir. Sorry for the camera. Yeah, this way, this way. One more here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And just in the middle, please. Sir? To right, your right. To your right. Your right. Just one here in the middle. Sir, this way. And one here, please. The gentleman with the French accent. Yeah. Good. Ah. The German accent. Once to the center again, please. So the second down, sir. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Can you look up, please? And one more for the other side, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, that's actually my hair, right? Yeah. Can I do the moonwalk? Thank you. Hello. 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 Please, please, this way. Can you look up, please? Back to me, can you look up? Here, this way, this way. One this way, this way. 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 Look at that one way. One way, please. And one back here, please. On the left. This way. And then one more right here. Just one. This way. This way. To your left. And this way. And one more right here. This, 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 this. This way. And one just here, please. And one over here. One step forward. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 One more to the face, right here, down here. Face, this, this way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Oh, yeah, please. Not be right. Can we offer our friends some drinks? <laughs> Tillmann Singer was born in Leipzig, lives in Cologne, and is an unusually talented German director. He is showing his new film Cuckoo at the Berlinale Special Gala. Gretchen Together travels with to the German Dad Alps with her father and stepmother. There, she encounters dark secrets, conspiracies, and bizarre experiments, traces of the past. Singer very skillfully plays with the genre patterns, but also with the images of the German horror tale. He revealed these sources of his inspiration at the press conference.
You speak both languages, yeah. That's if someone asks a question in German, uh, you have translation into English, but only if, if it's not in English. Okay. So you can just take it whenever it's not, if someone does. Are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, hello, welcome to the press conference of uh, the filming competition of the 74th Berlinale uh, from Germany and uh, the United States, Cuckoo. And uh, without further ado, let me introduce to you this amazing uh, team of talent we have right here. And I will start on the other side of the table. Um, actor Greta Fernandez. Next to her, Jan Bluthardt. And Martin Chokas. Ladies and gentlemen, Lady uh, Jessica Henwick. Lady, lady, lady. Lady, absolutely lady. It really is. And uh, needs no introduction, of course, the protagonist of our film, Hunter Schaefer. Welcome. And responsible for it all, for the writing and the director and, and the directing, please welcome Tillman Singer. We already have two, one, two, three questions over here and then over there. My colleague is coming with the with the microphone. Thank you. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Sofia from Regia Magazine, and this question is from Hunter. Well, by the way, Eric, congratulations to everyone for the movie. Um, as a horror fan myself, and having seen the trailer, of, of course, of the of Hideo Kojima game, I was wondering if I am witnessing the the birth of a new scream queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. So, is this a scream queen? Is is like by definition like somebody who does a lot of horror movies, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I don't really, um, like, there's no rhyme or rhythm to what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with it and rolling with the waves. Um, but, um, I, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I love horror movies, and um, screaming is really fun. Um, and we got to do we got to do a lot of that in in Google. Yeah. No, but it's crazy because it's like filming movies is like the only place that you're allowed to do that, and it's like like okay, you know, it's not like a moment. Um, so um, I don't know. I like screaming. I like making movies. Both leagues. <laughs> And just so everybody knows, I made a mistake. It's actually a Berlinale Gala Special, and that's why it's going to premiere tonight at 9 in an amazing venue called Verti yeah, Musical, and it's 1,800 people screaming with you. <laughs> we have another question over here. Hello, uh, Lazar Cristimo from Derek Radio Bulgaria. Uh, congratulations on the uh, film. I have a short question for uh, Miss Schaefer. Uh, how did you approach the role uh, before uh, the production. I mean, we know that this is uh, a horror film. Um, did you watch uh, Giallo and Slasher, Dario Angerto, uh, Argento, Mario Bava? And what do you think, especially, uh, what makes a horror film uh, not a cliché, but a story invested with good characters and a good script? Okay. There were a few, there were a few in there, so yeah. I'm trying to start. Well, the first one, uh, um, or well, okay, I guess um, uh, I, this movie came along after, um, uh, I had done two seasons of Euphoria, I had not done a movie yet, was very curious about what filming a movie would li was like. I, was li I had been looking at scripts for a couple of years now, hadn't really found anything, and then Tillman script came along and, um, just like, and, and then I also saw Lose, which if anyone here hasn't seen Lose yet, go watch it. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. It premiered actually um, here in Perspectiva de Chesquino, huh? That's true. It premiered here, yeah. uh, what, four years ago? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So good. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, I got this role during the pandemic, like in 2020. This is like, like four years ago, and we couldn't meet. And we also had to wait forever because I was in between season of seasons of Euphoria. Yeah, we had to push, so then I had push. to, when the pandemic was over, 
I had to go back to Euphoria. We couldn't film it for even longer, I think. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. So uh, that's so I had lots of time to be on the phone and FaceTime <laughs> with Tillman for like two years before um, yeah. we even started making this thing. Um, so as far as getting the character together, I mean, uh, I had lots of time, and he's an incredible resource as a director and a writer and everything. Right, and also I think you approach it very unconsciously, just, you know, Oh. Find yourself in it. Oh, sorry. No. Otherwise, my colleagues cannot translate. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, but I think we had a we had a long and beautiful time to prepare for it. Yeah, but you were very it gracious. It kind of sucked that we had to wait that long, but yeah. No, it did. I mean, it's weird getting to know somebody for like two years but not having met them in real life. That is very weird. That is but. that is freaky. That's true. Yeah. Can I ask? I've never asked you guys. Did the character change much in those two years? Um, do you remember that? I think I rewrote it a couple of times. I don't think, I think Gretchen I shorter, changed very much. But I don't think Gretchen changed that no. much. Uh, you changed the script a few times. I so. changed the script. Not, not fundamentally, but, 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 but there were some changes, yeah. Um, I think we stayed true to the original Gretchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, the other question, now that you don't have the microphone, I'm jumping in for you, uh, about the horror um, aspect of the film. Maybe this is something not only for Hunter, but um, for the rest of you as well. Well, can I just, may I, may I say, without wanting to... Please do. ...stab the knife into anybody. <laughs> I, I, don't, I didn't see, I don't, I've never seen this movie. I can see why you might consider it to be <laughs> horror, a horror movie. But I, don't, I think it's, um, it's more of a... A psychological drama, from per speaking personally, and um, and so I'm, I'm I'm glad that resonates with some of uh, our company. Um, and yeah, if you're going to put any labels on it, and of course we don't like to do that, but um, yeah, I feel I feel it's, it's it's immensely rooted in the psychological, and and the and people would no doubt disagree, or, and possibly agree that um, it's a real journey, something of a surreal, surrealist journey of sorts psychologically into, into our internal existence and how the external is often interpreted by way of our suffering, by way of our desire to, um, to play, to laugh, to attack, to kill psychologically. And it's very cathartic in that manner. So it's quite, one might say it's quite Greek also. <laughs> I'm just run. recounting the writing and what we all did, so. Um, would you actually say, Tillman, it could also be a sort of, I mean, it does have elements of coming of age, doesn't it? Sure. Because Gretchen is kind of yeah, there. I mean, what makes a coming of age movie a coming of age movie, I guess? Yeah, like, coming of age. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the development of, uh, of your character, yeah, Gretchen, it's, it's, with her sister especially, you know? I mean, she comes from one, one place and, go, and comes to a very different ending, right? right? And, and she's becoming sort of a motherly, sisterly character, right? All of this in, in, in the course of the film. I do think it's a coming of age movie, mm -hmm. yeah. And I do think it's, it's all of these things, you know? It's whatever you see it in it. It's yeah. also a horror movie, but it's not classic horror, I think. But, um, yeah. Great. Please. Yeah, this is Mark Harapetian, founder and publisher of Spirit, The Smile and the Storm, a film magazine I do since my 16th living year. I was Germany's youngest publisher, still existing until now. Hey, guys, on stage, you really made my day yesterday when I watched the film. I love <laughs> it. Yeah, fantastic. Everything, acting, sound design, the crazy story, uh, the music is superb. Um, so two questions. One is to Tillman. When we talk about the genres, I think, okay, horror film and uh, Martin say also psychological drama. I agree. But is it not also a science fiction movie with a mad scientist uh, <laughs> as aspect? And in some scenes, there was also uh, there's a memory for me on Shining from the feeling, you know? Yeah. Uh, so also science fiction maybe, and to, the, to all of you, um, not to the director maybe, as actors, um, it was fun to do the film or sometimes to feel also scared because as a, for a modern <laughs> film, I, often, I, I do not feel scared for horror movies anymore, but your film uh, scared me a lot sometimes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not kidding. Very good. Well, Take it as a compliment. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> Who would like to start? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How was it, guys? How about you, Greta, over there? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, not me. I mean, you have a very fun character too. It's true. Yeah, You're kind I'm, of the sunshine of the I know. whole ensemble. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to be scared now when I see the movie because I haven't <laughs> seen it, so I'm going to be very scared. But no, my part is kind of fun and funny, so yeah. So I had a lot of fun. I wasn't scared during the movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we actually laughed a lot. It, you should be scared on set. I'm I know. Not doing my job right I'm getting ready to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm getting go, getting ready to be very scared. Right. And yeah, uh, what what you asked me, uh, uh, I I do think it's also a sci-fi movie. I think we can just put all the genres in it, I guess. But um, what was the other question? The sci-fi. <laughs> It was for them, right? Were we scared? Were you scared? How scared were you? Terrified. (laughs) (laughs) Now, there's an element of truth in that. I mean, in anything you approach, because, you know, it's like you've put your heart and soul into these things and you're going into this one. I thought, I felt it was particularly, I don't know, there's so much there that it's it's something like an alchemical process. And we're all so different and so wonderful, of course. And... um, and, and then so you meet, and we were, and thank you, Tillman, because you brought that openness and vulnerability out amongst us. So we're traveling together as, you know, people not knowing one another very well, and then, and then dealing with deep relationships mm-hmm. that, that, are, that are universal and primal and specific to mm-hmm. us all. Father, daughter, husband, wife, lovers. Um, and so the, the terror factor um, was was deeper in the sense that I don't know everything was much, was was very very alive and and um, and and sparking and alchemical each day and also the way we shot it you know we didn't have years to shoot it so we were we were quick about it so everything the intensity of the subject and the nature of the interpersonal relationships brought a lot of fire. Uh, which you can, of course, be burnt by if you're not careful. So, but we looked after each other, so we're all right. I think you make a good point. I think the the, the horror is the horror is the 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 thing that's beneath the story on the surface. The story on the surface is a lot of fun, but it sort of I think it gets you, you know, unconsciously. Mm. Which <laughs> but it is science fiction in the sense that you have created this world that is. Um, absolutely original. I mean, um, <clears throat> it looks yeah. like something familiar, like you go, you know, yeah. with the family to the Alps. Yeah. But then, um, yeah. I'm not going to give any spoilers, this is a press conference. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> but, with uh, this movie, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, not to spoil. But yeah. It but is. I, I do like that, um, I do like the feeling of familiarity. Mm-hmm. Um, I um, sort of... Um, you know, you kind of have have seen it, and I like I like um, I like the feeling of history in scenes. I like to have um, a stacking sort of historical styles on top of each other. So you have like a certain old type of um, architecture, and then a, maybe a little bit newer um, interior design, and then the fashion is also still old. But then. Right. Somebody just has a smartphone, right? And 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 it's kind of hard to pin down when when it actually happens. But um, I think that's a that's the my 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 main job is to sort of build a world, a different, a parallel universe, I guess. A know? new one, <laughs> <laughs> a cuckoo one. <laughs> We have a question over here, please. Uh, hello, Kras Kiribay from Kazakhstan. Um, I generally think that Cuckoo is one of the most refreshing horror movies of the past year at the very least. And I think it happens to be so unique, uh, yet you know recognizable in so many ways. We've already mentioned Chalo, references to Shining. I saw some visual references to this to Psycho. And my question is actually to Tillman because of that. Uh, what were some of the horror movies that inspired Cuckoo? In, if you could pinpoint the titles, or if you could talk about the particular periods, countries, that's the first. And the second, what do you think, uh, you know, horror genre right now is one of the biggest vivid genres in the world, right. and it's taken new directions. So what do you think will be the future of horrors in terms of topics, themes, whatever? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, big questions. <laughs> that, uh, big questions. Um, okay, so to the first thing, I don't think I can pinpoint like the exact inspiration. I, I didn't have a blueprint, but I mean, of course, I'm very, very flattered that you saw The Shining in there. Um, it, 
was the one thing, we, we went location scouting and we found this old British army base that was abandoned. And this, all of this, all of these like rundown buildings that were on this area, in this area. And they had a, I forgot what they called it. It was sort of like for when they had banquets, right? And they had this huge hall, this wooden hall. And when I, when, when I stepped foot in there, I, like the shining just hit me. And I was like, oh, okay, we have to shoot it. We absolutely have to shoot it. And it was a blessing that we did because we had this cool sort of wasteland um, to us, to the uh, production. Um, the future of horror movies, I have no idea where it's going to go. Um, I do love horror movies very much, though, ever since I'm a child. I don't know. I never lost this. It's, a lot of children have this sort of fascination with the grotesque, I think, and the horrific, and, you know, like, scary stuff, violence. Uh, it's fascinating to children, and I never really lost that, I think. It, I think um, the horror genre is just such a thankful um, way to tell a story story with um, because it's very fun and it it makes you feel these outrageous feelings you know like it's 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 very it's very um, it gets to you sure tack one on uh, what direction would you take personally with the next maybe projects in horror movies what would you like to what type of stories would you like to tell um, I don't know yet I don't know yet. It sort of it always comes, you know. It's uh, with with the with the, with the cuckoo. Um, my inspiration literally came from watching a documentary about the cuckoo bird. I knew what it was doing. I think most people know that here in Germany, but um, I kind of forgot how gruesome it is, <laughs> and it made me feel these extremely strong feelings. And I was like, all right, I should do something with that. Yeah, we have a question over here on the right side and then two in the middle. Hi, I'm Ross. I'm the director of Campus TV Marburg. It's a student-run organization in Hessen, a uh, federal state where you filmed your film, which is actually part of my question. Sure. Um, yes, it might be a bit personal uh, about Hessen and Germany, but you filmed the film in Germany, and I'd like to ask the actors who aren't German, sorry, Mr. Singer, obviously you're German, so... I'm checking out. Um, that's all right. <laughs> um, so what's your experience filming in Germany like, and especially, yes, I know, Hessen? Uh, so just general experience of, I mean, I don't know if you filmed in Germany before, but especially like in Arberg in Hessen where the villa was, what's, what's the general consensus of filming in Germany? What's the feeling you've got? <clears throat> Very German. <laughs> <laughs> well spoken. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> well, I guess also the question is, were you actually in the mountains? No, we, ah. now we use deceit and trickery. Uh -huh. No, but we did go to the mountains at the very end yeah. to, to, to shoot some stuff. Where was Hessen? Where did we film in Hessen? Uh, it was that's, the last. That's the military base. The last, no, it was the last no. two weeks. I think. Oh, I missed. Two that. weeks, one and a half weeks. It's, it's a, the we, were, we went to Wiesbaden, that cute city. Okay. Um, Wiesbaden. Yeah. yeah, and uh, from there we went around and. Uh, the, the house particularly is such a, an important part of the film, or at least a part of the film, and I can't remember who designed that house till now. Richard mm. Neutra. A, a great, no, great arch, arch, architect. Yeah, that house. That house um, had a, you know, uh, a, a personification of everything that was going on. Every every angle of the house and every room we went into, and outside and in. It was like a terrarium. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah you. It's it's for watching people from outside. From There's lots, lots of glass and windows going on in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Who can see in what's reflected, what you can't see. Um, the, I mean, when you're working, those are the kinds of things to answer your quest questions uh, with a little more length. Um, that, those are the kinds of things you experience. And also the people who owned the house who were not like the world that we were in, who were very, very kind. So um, these are the kinds of experiences that you have. And some of us got locked in hotels during the COVID experience also. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I tried... Currywurst. I've been vegetarian for 
like seven years or something. And you will be forever no. now. <laughs> no. I, that was well, the end of I'm it? I'm fully a meat eater now because <gasps> of the currywurst that I had. Germany. Oh, no. so. It was I have our, Germany it was to our think Gaffa's bru- uh, Homemade. His name was Homemade. Gruber. It was very it's good. Gruber, yeah. And he makes an incredible currywurst. I did, I did. It was good. Many people oh, broke yeah. the edge had, that day, I think, and went yeah, from vegan good. to... I think I had five. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Mahari, please. You're in the middle. Uh, first, a compliment. This is a timbal singer film. No... No, because I saw Dario Argento as a young guy, and this is your film. But I have a question about the ending, this okay. shooting, because uh, it was a bit, <laughs> a bit hard. The ending? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why did you choose that ending? And then uh, can you talk about the music and the effect, you know, sound effect? Because we saw the film yesterday, yeah. and we have big armchairs that you can lay down. Yeah. It was all shaking. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> so can, can you tell us more about sure. the, the sound effects and the, the music well, also? The viola absolutely. Um, I, um, I'm going to hold back with talking about the ending too much, but um, it is pretty rough. I feel everything that happens in the end concretely has um, a certain meaning that relates to the characters and how they are and how they fight things out, you know? Um, <clears throat> so to me it feels to me it feels really organic to like a necessary ending to the story about the music there's so much to say um, first of all our composer Simon Vasco did an amazing job again um, he I'm working with him on all my movies and um, <laughs> This girl actually also did an amazing job because um, I wanted to have some um, so she learned the bass because she has a scene where, 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 where you have to play bass, right? Um, and then I thought about what, what, what song I could give Gretchen, the character, and I thought, oh, she should listen to something noisy and something romantic. And then I thought, okay, maybe the Jesus and Mary Chain. I would, I would give, give her that. And um, that quote came back way too high, and my producer said, no, you cannot have it. And then I was like, oh shit, everything else on my list is probably unaffordable too. There was like suicide and stuff on there. Uh, so I tasked Simon to please write me a song in the Jesus and the Mary Chain style. And he did, like this. And then Hunter learned it, and then Hunter also, we recorded it in your, your we hotel. We recorded it. In the hotel bathroom. In oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Ooh. We had to move. In Wiesbaden. And, uh, because uh, there was a festival outside or something. All of a sudden, they started playing really loud music outside, so we had to move into yeah. the bathroom. Yeah. Or maybe we got a nice reverberation. But I was kind of hoping for like the echo to help me out, because yeah. I'm not a singer by any means. Yeah, but you don't need help. This is how cool, you know, you, you approach this and you just do it. Just yeah. do it. Yeah. <clears throat> we have another question here in the middle, please. Hi. Um, I know that horror movies often push you as actors um, to explore dark themes and um, extreme emotions. And I was just wondering if you had any techniques to navigate through those um, and what it was like. You have I some you. techniques. Yeah. I, <laughs> I see you prepare in scenes, which are very beautiful moments. You know, when things calm down, you go to a certain place. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have, I didn't go to school for acting, and I'm still, like, kind of figuring it out, you know, every time I do it. Um, but, um, I mean, I don't know. With, like, emotional stuff, um, I don't know. I don't know how to do the kind of acting where you, like, figure out how to move your face muscles in a way that, like, you can, like, just, like, <laughs> simulate cry. Like, I have to, like, you know, kind of go there and just, right. like, get sad. Um, but honestly, the biggest thing is having, like, being surrounded by people. Because, like, the scariest thing going into that is, like, is, like, oh, my God, what if it gets, like, too real or something, you know, like, or too intense and then I'm, like, not okay or whatever. If you're feeling okay with the people that you're with and that you're filming with, and, like, for one really sad scene we had to do, I remember I just, like, needed to hold someone's hand, and he just came up here, and he held my hand, and then, <laughs> so, um, I, I feel had like that same experience yeah? with Tillman. Yeah. Just being there. 
when he wasn't there, I couldn't get to that point, and then he just uh, was uh, behind the camera, and it just mm -hmm. went. Yeah. Thank you, Tillman. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you for doing this, guy. Tillman has our hands. <laughs> <laughs> I like holding hands. <laughs> the next question is over here in the middle. And then um, front, hi. And those are going to be the hi. last two questions. Okay. I'm Chris from the Disapproving Swede uh, for Tillman Singer. I really, I'm a big fan of your first film, Lose. Oh, I, I, I rewatched it so, so many times. Oh, so you. I was worried now with a bigger project that the style would go away. Did but it? but it, no, it did not. <laughs> so I would like to know how you approach the cinematography and the, and the editing specifically. This um, was a really great experience. Thanks. So the editing process, I'm still figuring it out. Um, it's really, um, I'm not a master by any means. And the writing process, same. I don't really know what I'm doing. But um, when I write, I do write in pictures. And um, it's usually my, the, the biggest clues for me if something works or not. And uh, uh, sorry, I um, always, I always do figure out a big part of the cinematograph uh, cinematography or the style out while writing because it just plays in my mind. And then, um, and then I take a long time actually with uh, the cinematographer Paul Faltz. Um, to figure out the scenes concretely, even though it means in the end that we have to sort of like throw 50% out of the window because we don't have time for that, but it's very good to prepare um, in a certain way so you know what's important and, and then you can limit yourself to the one shot, you know, that you can do and can do right. Yeah. Please go ahead. Last question. Um, hi, I'm Melanie Goodfellow from Deadline. I was just um, really interested in the fact that this is a US production and how you connected with Neon. I don't know if you can, this might be a bit of a long story, but just, and, and just the difference between making, you've made films uh, in German and then having this big cast and, um, you know, working like on a US production. Um, yeah, I, I guess we did like kind of a hybrid, no, of a German and US American film. Um, we had German crew, um, we had an international cast, we shot in Germany. Um, um, also financed by Northern Westphalia and Hessen uh, Film Funds, they gave us money. And um, Neon, um, being the most amazing supportive partners I, I can hope for, uh, it was fucking incredible working with them. Um, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I can't really speak to the difference that much because I've never shot a truly US American film in the States, so I don't know. Mm, that might happen. We'll see. Uh, I, I have no concrete plans, but let's see what, what, what happens. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for your questions. Thank you and so for much. For joining guys. us today.